Data visualization has become a major trend for publishers and media in recent years. Why has it become so important? It's a trend since the past, yeah, that's true. But there has always been information graphics, it's always been there, so it's not that quite new. It has become more important in terms of data visualization simply for the fact that the technique is there, technology is there to actually be, yeah, it's possible to publish major data sets. And we notice that users do like certain interactivity on web pages to explore their own data sets in their own very terms and meanings. What is your personal role in the process from data collection to storytelling at Neue Zürcher Zeitung? I work as a data-driven reporter as we call it at Neue Zürcher Zeitung and my role is to actually build up that field, to establish knowledge, to transfer knowledge to the editorial team, but also produce stories like Fukushima, um, we did a reportage on two years after the aftermath and we did certain data visualizations on, for example, refugees and how they left their hometown to move further up. And my part is it's the reporting and as well as uh, putting it up on stage, meaning visualizing it, publishing it on nzz.ch. Making stories out of data, how does it work? That's a good and <laughs> tough question. Uh, question, what will do? It, it's no different than interviewing a person. We interview a data set and we try to find that one point of interest that is interesting to, to the reader. So it might be the maximum, it might be the minimum, it might be the average. And from there on, we continue our reporting to actually an individual, break it down to an individual person telling their story and why they are on the edge of a minimum or a maximum. Does data journalism or data visualization need a new way of journalistic thinking? And what does it mean? Yes, it does need a new journalistic thinking, simply for the fact that data visualization enables showing the information via an image, via an interactive, via a dynamic uh, application. And you don't have to repeat the information in a text. So the text, an interactive, or a data visualization, they have to be combined, they have to fit together, and they have to work together. And that's why it needs a new way of thinking. What content do I transfer to the reader via text? What content do I transfer to the reader via an application? What do I put in a video, for example? So on and so forth. So that's why, yes, you do have to rethink what has been done for the last couple of years, or the last 20 years. What was your own favorite data project in the last years? Oh, there are many uh, that I would actually point out as very good and very well done. New York Times is of course far up in front, but I'm pretty much happy with the work we did, having only 150 journalists on board and no code and no designer, but yet we managed to visualize data in a pretty common way to understand and an easy way to understand make an accessible but the real perfect one example is definitely by the, done by the Guardian uh, gay rights in the US. What is your vision of journalistic data visualization and data-driven journalism for the future? Well I hope it's not just a buzzword and I hope it's not just a trend but it's gonna stay there and we're gonna yeah, explore further What's there? What's in us? What's in there for us in terms of content, but and also in terms of technology.